The Techno Evo series of pumps have been designed with the engineer in mind, keeping maintenance to a minimum and comparatively straightforward to a number of pumps on the market. Prior to any work being carried out on the pumps, suitable personal protection equipment should be worn and wherever possible the pumps should be flushed through with clean water or at least run dry to remove excess chemical. The main service item to be replaced will be the suction and discharge cartridges situated in the top and the bottom of the pump head. To access these, first remove the tube connections and then release the bleed valve. This will allow air or excess liquid to be removed from the pump head. The suction and discharge cartridges can then be removed using a small screwdriver and replaced with new ones. There is a triangle on the cartridges which indicates flow and a breather hole for the top cartridge. They can then be back inserted back into the pump and the bleed valve retightened. The tube connections can then be replaced and the pump is once again operational. In the unlikely event the pump head or diaphragm should require replacement, this once again is a straightforward operation. Firstly remove the top and bottom tubes, and then access the four fixing bolts by removing the rubber safety caps. Once the four fixing bolts have been released, the pump head can be easily removed. The diaphragm can be removed simply by turning anti-clockwise and unscrewing from the solenoid. Beneath the diaphragm there is an O-ring. This should also be replaced when servicing the pump. To replace the diaphragm, simply screw clockwise, ensuring that it's a tight fit. To replace the pump head, Simply secure in position and after hand tightening the bolts they can be secured using a spanner up to four newtons. The top and bottom discharge and suction hoses can then be reconnected. If the pump has been out of service for some time, it may require some assistance with priming. This can be done by releasing the bleed valve, allowing excess air or liquid to be removed from the pump head. If further assistance is required, a small amount of water can be placed directly under the pump to aid with priming. Priming the delivery line can be done in two ways. Firstly, by pressing and holding the minus button followed by pressing the plus button. If longer periods of priming are required, simply press and hold the program button, press enter twice to pump functions, change to manual mode by using either the plus or minus button, pressing enter to confirm, escape and then saving the changes. The pump is now in manual mode and can be initiated simply by pressing the start button. When the required amount of priming is delivered, simply press and hold the program button, press enter twice again, and using the plus or minus buttons, return to it, the pump to its original function.